A federal judge is threatening to charge top Texas officials with contempt of court over their handling of the state's foster care system. KXAN investigator Avery Travis sat in on an all-day hearing where the judge laid out her expectations for change. Avery? The judge spent a lot of time talking through specific cases of foster children who died or who were abused. Really heartbreaking stories, but some of the similar issues we've been hearing about for more than a decade since the state was first sued over the treatment of foster children. Today, the judge walked people through this 200-page report, which details the progress that the state's made, but also the shortcomings over the last few years. Judge Janice Jack zeroed in on how each of her court orders has been implemented so far, but threatened to fine the Department of Family and Protective Services over things like foster facilities not having supervisors awake at night to monitor children, or the state placing children in potentially unsafe homes. A CPS policy expert we spoke with says today's hearing shows just how hard it is to get this right, but why it's important to focus on details, rules, and regulations so that nothing falls through the cracks, especially when it comes to kids' safety. It is just heart-wrenching um, and, and really painful to continue to see kids die or experience ongoing abuse, uh, whether that's physical or sexual, because of these kinds of mistakes that were highlighted. The commissioner of DFPS told the judge it was doing its best to meet all of the court orders, but sometimes children's placements were up to local courts and judges instead. Judge Jack says there will not be another federal hearing on the matter until December, but a panel of experts who was convened to come up with solutions and actually release their recommendations earlier this year could be checking in with these agencies as soon as mid-June.